Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my newest program and explaining the code behind it. So, my this new program that I've been working on is the classic mobile game Cookie Clicker. And as you can see here, here's the coding behind it. It's a couple hundred lines, I believe around 400. Uh, yes, 417 lines. And I'll be going through it uh, relatively fast and then showing you the game itself once it's on the calculator. And if you want to play this game for yourself, I will have a link in the description where you can go and download it. So let's start. So these variables I'm not going to explain right now because uh, I'll be able to explain them later on. But this label A here is where the game actually starts. So right here, this block that I've highlighted right here. This is checking to see if they've bought any upgrades to make cookies automatically. And so what it does is theta is how many cookies per second they're going to get. And so it checks if it's not if it's greater than 0, so they're making cookies, then it's going to display cookies per second and then this part here that if theta is less than 100 and if theta is greater than 99 and less than 10,000 that's just uh, making sure the number for cookies per second is centered so it looks nicer. Now down here we have the output. This is what will actually display how many cookies there are. And then this is our while loop which will uh, enable some, the person to actually click for cookies. And so right here, this block right here, this is for the two times, whoops, two times bonus that I added on. So if you've ever played Cookie Clicker before, you would know that if you click fast enough, eventually it'll give you a two times bonus, and if you stop clicking, it'll go away. So what it does is it doesn't want to go into the negatives, so once it hits zero, it'll stop lowering the number. Why does it keep opening? And then if it, and it doesn't want it to be unlimited, because then you could click really fast and then just let it ride down and you wouldn't have to click at all. So, the max is 100, and the minimum is 0. And then, as you can see down here, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. When you click, it does it adds 4 instead of 1, because if it added 1, it'd be impossible to get the 2 times. Okay, right here. This 1 15th times theta plus C, 2C. So C is our variable for how many cookies you have, which C, cookies. Theta as I said before, is our cookies per second that we're gaining. And this 1 15th, that number is based on how fast this while loop is going. And so the th if I just did theta plus c, then it'd be making cookies faster than it actually should be. So this 1 15th means that every 15 times this while loop goes through, it would be one real-time second, which it's not perfect. I had to do a little bit of testing, but it's pretty accurate. This get key A right here. A is to see what button the person has pressed, and get key finds the button that they press on the calculator. This B plus 1 to B I'll come back to really fast. But, okay, this if C, I'm about to open it again. Yep. If C is less than 100, all this, this is just displaying the cookies, and again, it's making sure it's centered. Here we go. Here's the A part. If A equals 21 which is our enter button, or well, 105 is our actual enter button, but 21 is our click button, uh, it will reset B, which I'll again talk about. It resets A because it wants it to keep going through the loop, but then it adds the cookies that you get. D is for the power click, which I'll get to later, and output clears the this B thing, which I'll talk about in a second. Here is our uh, multiplier click again, and so it checks if it's 80 or above, and then if it is, it makes it two times more right here. And then also it outputs two times in the corner, so you can tell that it's two times. Okay, this B is a little thing, so if the person stops clicking, after 75 times through the loop, which is about five seconds, it'll just display click, and then... Uh, when they click, it obviously resets that and clears it here. Or not there. Clears it here. Okay. Now we're to the shop. This while loop, this get key, whenever they press a button, 
it'll exit the while loop because a no longer equals zero and it'll go to the shop right here and then the shop uh, it has a menu in it which you can either buy a two times click CPS upgrades which is clicks per second or leave the shop and go back to this menu up here if we go to the power click what this does is if it's your first time buying the power click it'll give it to you for free because the first power click is free but then otherwise which is this else here it'll display the cost right here E which was uh, evaluated up here right here to be 12,500 so it'll cost 12,500 to buy the upgrade where was I this is displaying E which is the price and then if they buy it it'll go down here checks if they have more money in their bank then it costs and then if they do it'll multiply how much they're getting per click by two and then it'll subtract the cost and this E times 2.5 TE is so they can rebuy the upgrade with a 250 percent price increase okay this next section is the CPS upgrades that you see right here and what this does is it just gets you uh, cookies automatically and so if you've ever played cookie clicker you would know the first one is called an auto click and it makes 0.1 clicks per second or cookies per second and again this is just to center the price this time and then down here it checks if they want to hit the back button and not buy it and then if they hit right to cycle right in the menus and then right here is if they buy it and if they buy it it'll increase the price by 130 percent subtract the cost of the price and add 0.1 to the uh, CPS which is theta from up here this menu right here and then it's pretty much the same thing uh, repeated right here as it just goes to the grandma which is the second upgrade makes 0.3 CPS and then theta plus 0.3 same thing and H is the cost for the grandma each uh, upgrade has a different variable for the cost to keep track of so then we have the C robot same thing plus 1 to theta and it costs uh, a little bit more and then C farm same thing C factory same thing S factory same thing and X factory exact same thing just increasing how much uh, cookies per second you get and also increasing the price and then this last bit right here uh, what this does is it um, oh I'm still up there it checks if you hit the mode button which is two down and two across and then it displays the controls so if you ever need if you download this and you ever forget the controls just press mode it'll tell you the controls and then if you hit 45 which is the exit button or well in on the calculator it says clear but it will exit the program which is what stop does it just exits the program and then this zero to a go to a all that does is it uh, in case somehow it was missing an end it would go back to the beginning which honestly you could probably delete this and it would still work the exact same okay Next, I'm going to actually show you the program in action. So let me just go over here to this calculator. And let's turn it on. And we got to hit program, press enter. And this will be the menu that you get uh, prompted with when you start it. And you're obviously going to click new game. And then, look, you got cookies. And then if I click mode, it'll tell me the controls. So I need to hit second to click or I can hit enter but I'm gonna be hitting second so let me press enter and then look I'm gaining cookies and then if you remember the first power click is free so let's just go ahead and buy that and then if you look in the CPS upgrades there's how many cookies I have that that's how much it costs that's how much it makes and then I can cycle through them and this is the highest tier one I made. 
Okay, let's exit there. Let's leave. And let's click some more. And then if I click fast enough, we should see that the two times will come up in the corner. Yep, see, and now I'm making four per click instead of two. Okay, let's go ahead and buy a CPS upgrade. And I'll just demonstrate this. If I buy one grandma, then I leave. It should say CPS 0.3. And then if we wait, this, should, this number should increase by itself. There it is approximately like three seconds and then it'll increase so if I just start clicking it should switch to even numbers here in a second yep there now it's all even numbers and then if I want I can go back to the shop go to CPS upgrades uh, let's buy another one and then buy a couple of these and you can always see if you have enough and even if you try to buy it and you don't have enough it just won't work it'll go back to the menu and then if I go to the power click, it costs 12500 which I obviously don't have. Um, so let's leave the shop. Now I'm making 0.8, and now we should see it's going a lot faster. Yep, see, you can even, it's just under a second to do that. So, oh, see, now it's prompting me with click, because uh, I didn't click for a while, and now when I click, it'll go away. That's what that uh, zero to B and that uh, if loop with B in it did. Yeah, so that's cookie clicker. And let's just exit the game by pressing clear. And then if you ever need to exit the game and then you have to turn off your calculator or anything, if you just run the program again, press continue yes, then it'll instantly save your progress. But if you ever run a different program and then come back, you're going to have to start a new game. It only works when you exited your calculator and then went right back on. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.